who are you and where are you from? James Williams from Newport Beach. All right, and uh, what do you do? I am right now doing a little community service here at Bolsa Chica Beach in Huntington. From about five years ago, did something and I'm paying society back. Oh, I see. And uh, so um, now, so you're cleaning up the, the, uh, the beach. Cleaning up the beach. Yeah, we had our, actually the heaviest rains in the history of California which they are calling the 100 year flood. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but there's been a lot of damage through California. I know California extremely well. I do a lot of traveling, motorcycle wise, uh, biking a lot, uh, 100 mile, 130 mile rides. I'll ride from Newport down through Santa Monica, up through Palos Verdes to get there. So has climate changed so. much since you were a kid? When I was a kid, uh, what I first got out of climate change was um, in 1970, we moved from L.A., Inglewood, where the Lakers played. I was a little basketball buff. And uh, so the, the weather back in the 60s, um, my mom opened up the LA airport in 1961 when it opened up and she had an insurance company so I'd go down there and really didn't notice the, the, the pollution as bad. I have watched films back from the 40s and 50s going into the 60s and it was really, really bad. Then in 1970 we moved to Huntington Beach and my mom sent me to a camp up in Big Bear which is about 80 miles from Newport, Orange County, or LA, something like that. And the pollution, this guy, this uh, camp director brought us to the edge of this one part of the mountain and said, take a look at this. The pollution was so devastating. It was, uh, you could not see the city of San Bernardino, Riverside, all the way to LA. You can today. That's when they started putting smog, uh, uh, emissions on cars by the late 70s, that's how bad it got. When I was 19, I was working in Pomona area and you could not literally see a few hundred yards a building, a huge building, the pollution was so bad. They would have to send you home for, this went on for quite a few years. They used to have to, to, to send you home uh, because you just could not breathe in the Valley of Pomona off the 60 freeway and the 57 all the way to the 10 by Laverne and Azusa and all those areas in San Bernardino Riverside uh, you from the beach you could see the pollution just I mean you couldn't see the mountains like today we can see the mountains uh, then, so it's been getting a lot better um, I just there to me there is no it's there's been getting no, better despite it's, the it's gotten so much and the rising sea and yeah the, that's why that's why I you know I believe in Christ and 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 he takes care of his own planet so that that's just uh, it's not a theory that's just my belief so um, I think everything's all right what what our politicians are doing is just a joke in my book um, we only live to a certain point and but we do need to keep things nice and fresh for for the kids that are growing up and then uh on an everyday basis do you think much about climate on a scale of one to ten no ten but most I, I look up in the sky and we have these chemtrails on people a scale of keep, one to ten uh, ten being the most concerned where would you put yourself about our our future in in uh endeavor in in in, in the uh, for for climate change i'll put myself at zero i literally put myself at zero because we we cleaned up from the late 70s, like I said earlier, to, to now, um, especially now. Actually, they cleaned it up within five, five years, under 10 years, everything was fine. And it's been fine since. Now we can see the mountains clear, clear as day. This year, uh, I could even see Big Bear from here, and it kind of hides behind Saddleback Mountain, which we see every day. So yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's all a game, politician game. Um, 
Uh, that that's that I know for a fact. I can look up in the sky, and they and in our our country, our politicians are polluting our skies every day with chemtrails. Which in in California we have a mountain, Shasta Mountain, and they detect in the snow in their trees what that what this chemtrails are causing is aluminum nitrate in the sky, and that hits our frontal brain. And in, it, for those that don't take care of themselves, you don't notice, but we do, our bodies feel the pollutions and the, and the chemicals that they are spraying us with. And then finally, uh, uh, for the future, are you optimistic or pessimistic about the climate? No, not at all. That's, I, I've been noticing, we, we used to have so a tornado not... here and there throughout the United States. Now we're getting massive. I just feel, uh, you know, like I said, I believe in Christ, and and uh, you know, he's he's got our he's he's got it all figured out himself. It's it's I I don't think anybody should worry about it. 500 years ago, we have maps that show that the top of the world and the bottom of the world they had mapped out. So I feel all those millions of years that they say it takes to for for the for the for the for the ice caps and all that. I, I don't believe in that because there was somebody 500 years ago uh, that they were circling and mapping the globe and now it's not, you can't see it. I blow a machine to put the sand back on at 200 miles an hour and that shows me how fast within hours things can change just like a tornado can tear up a, 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 a town in two seconds. So yeah, to, to me it's all a farce. I, I, my goal is just to enjoy life. I got Jesus as my savior, and yeah, I, I don't, I personally don't worry about it. Very good. Thank you very much. This is the 8th of uh, May here in, uh, what town is this? What? We're in Huntington Beach okay. and uh, Bolsa Chica, and I'm looking at Long Beach Palace Verdes, where Chuck Norris grew up. I used to work for him at Woody's Wharf in 1986 and 89, and L.A., I'm looking at Long Beach, and I can almost see down to Malibu. That's how clear it is from here. So yeah, pollution to me doesn't doesn't matter. And as I'm talking to him, he can see how beautiful it is. Catalina Islands right there. You know, we got the oil rigs. We got plenty of oil. Why? Why it's so expensive out here? It's over five dollars a gallon right now. Uh, our governor, he ain't governing. That's all I know. Very good. Thank you very much. You got it.